Hey, what's up? Not much. About ready to go. Yeah, I think so. Just finishing something up on the computer real quick. But gosh, my, I think it's my sciatic nerves flared up. I don't know what's going on with it. Just hurts. Have you tried any nerve flossing? Oh shoot, I haven't done that, you know. But that's, that's a, a good, good video good. idea. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Twin Stock Therapy. I hope you enjoyed our um, amazing acting skills. Oh, yeah. Pretty good, so It'll look out world. Big screen near you. <laughs> look out world. Um, so I'm Aaron. I'm Adam. And we are identical twin brothers with over 30 years of experience within massage therapy, physical therapy, and athletic training. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about uh, nerve tensioner glider exercises for the lower extremity or our legs. Okay, today we're gonna to show you how to floss and tension the sciatic nerve, the femoral nerve, and the obturator nerve, which are the three main nerves covering the front and back of your thigh. So the sciatic nerve, everyone knows that one, goes down the back of your leg um, from off the lumbar spine, and a big nerve going all the way down the back of your leg. Then the obturator nerve comes off the front of the lumbar spine and dives deep down into your pelvis and comes down the groin. And your femoral nerve comes over the top of your pelvis right inside that little hip pointer bone and it's more superficial down the thigh and has several branches. But we're gonna focus more on the singular branches up near the spine, which will help the branches lower down. All right, so for the sciatic nerve glide, First of all, one cool thing about the sciatic nerve is if you look at your pinky, that is about the size that the sciatic nerve is when it branches off of the spine and goes through our glute muscles. And then as it travels down the back of the leg, it splits into a couple different branches as it innervates the different muscles down towards the foot. Uh, to floss the sciatic nerve, you're going to do tensioning on one side of the nerve and slacking on the other side of the nerve and then reverse that. So if I look up and dorsiflex and extend the knee and then look down and relax and then go back and forth, this is flossing the nerve. To do the tensioner for the sciatic nerve, uh, what we wanna do is uh, sit in a slump position. So you're going to let your lower back go into a bit of a rounded posture and then you're going to extend your leg out and pull your toes up or dorsiflex your foot. And then you're going to tuck your chin down towards your chest. And then you're going to just let everything relax and look up. So this is tensioning. And then this is taking the tension off of the sciatic nerve and putting slack on it. So for the obturator nerve uh, to do the flossing, uh, we're going to externally rotate the hip and then extend the head up and then back and down and then out and up. So we're tensioning one side of the obturator nerve and slacking the other end and then going back and forth. To put some tension on the obturator nerve, you're going to externally rotate your hip and tuck your chin down at the same time. So that's putting tension on both ends of the nerve. So it's going to tension the obturator nerve as a whole. So down and out, and then in and up. Down and out, in and up. You'll repeat that for a few reps and sets to help mobilize the obturator nerve. So lastly, we're going to uh, show how to floss and to tension the femoral nerve. And the femoral nerve goes over the hip and then down into the front of the thigh. Um, so in order to floss that nerve, I'm gonna slide side lying. And I'm using a piece of cut rock floss. Um, you can use a therapy band, you can use a strengthening band, anything to loop around your foot just to help in case you don't have the flexibility to lay on your side and to pull your foot back behind you. So I'm gonna lay on my side. I'm gonna loop this band around my foot. And so the flossing, we're tensioning one side of the nerve and then the other and going back and forth um, to tension the nerve. We're going to put tension on both ends of the nerve at the same time. So flossing always comes first to help mobilize the nerve. So I'm going to pull back and tension 
the femoral nerve in the thigh area. And from the spine, I want to slack it, so I'm going to look up. So I'm going from here, and then I'm letting the uh, band go and dropping my chin down to put tension on the nerve towards the spine. And then I reverse that. Uh, and repeat that for reps and sets. In order to tension the nerve, we're going to do the same thing, but we're doing it at the same time. So pulling back and tucking the chin. And then relaxing, looking up. And pulling again. And again, reps and sets of that to help mobilize and to tension the femoral nerve. All right, everyone, that wraps up the flossing video for your sciatic, femoral, and obturator nerves. We hope that helps and uh, thank Aaron for doing those techniques and my pleasure. As always, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we put up new videos. And if you guys have anything you want us to cover, feel free to email us at twinstalktherapy at gmail.com. And thanks for watching. Got anything else to add, Aaron? That's it. Have fun flossing and tensioning those nerves. See you later.